What is up GOAT world? It is me, your boy JDZ, and I'm back at you again with another GOAT format video. One of the most frequently asked questions, one of the most commonly asked questions is JDZ, how do I play GOAT format online? How do I participate in these online events? Well, today you're in luck. If you do not know how to play GOAT format online after watching this video, you will. But if you already know how to play GOAT format online, do not shut the video off. Just watch all to the end. Maybe you might learn something or get down to the comment section and help me guide the newer players to the online game, I would really appreciate that. But as always, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so the very first thing I wanna talk about when playing Go Format Online is going to be the simulator that we use. That is going to be none other than Dueling Book. Dueling Book is www.duelingbook.com. Okay, so you go to www.duelingbook.com. It is completely free to use. You don't have to download any plugins or any add-ons or anything like that. You can just go to the website and you can be ready to play right now. And it looks like this. Okay, so this this is duelingbook.com. You just need an email and you need a username. Think about it when you're picking your username, it's gonna be reflective of who you are as a duelist, as a person. So make sure it's not anything racist or homophobic or anything like that. Just kind of keep it classy. If you can't think of anything, just use your regular name. That's fine. People do that all the time as well. No big deal. So once you've created your account, you have access to dueling book, you just click this duel button and you start, you're on your journey. You're halfway there, half the battle is complete. The first thing you're gonna need once you get into Dueling Book, you're going to need a deck. You're not gonna be able to play on Dueling Book without a deck. I know that's common sense, but we're gonna rock it. You know what I'm saying? So you get your, go to your deck constructor. When you go to your deck constructor, this whole page will be blank. It will look like this, all right? So if you have a deck that you already know that you wanna play or something that you've been playing online that's been having great success for you, that's great. All you have to do is just type those cards in card by card if you want and make your deck one card at a time. Another thing you can do if you don't know what you're gonna play and you haven't played in a while and you just wanna feel inspired and look at some cards you can go down to more op go to go format cards hit search and then it's going to bring up every single card that is available in goat format you can kind of cruise cruise through at your leisure make your deck and then you can be ready to rock out all right so uh, or you can just type in the card name that you want so pot of greed you type it in it comes up and then you right click throw it into your deck Make your deck and you're ready to go. All right, so once your deck is made, you can go ahead and save the deck, set it as default, and then you're you're ready to rock. You're ready to play. You can go to exit here. You can go to a duel room. If you feel confident and you've had some experience and you kind of know, know the vibes right now, at any moment, you can jump into this join pool and you're playing Go Format rated games online right now. But if you don't know, if this is your first time playing, I would strongly suggest against that. I would suggest personally, I would suggest going here, going to solo mode, going to classic, and tr just trying out, and, ju and just going to classic, and just trying to just do just do this just to learn the button configuration and just getting used to the entire manual process because a lot of people have been playing simulators they're not used to this entire manual thing so you because like i said you're in your draw phase you have to draw for yourself um you have to shuffle your own hand you have to if you want you if you if something comes up you have to show your hand um you have to set your own card you have to change your phases so now you're in draw phase you enter your standby phase into your main phase and then whatever play you're going to make like if you want to set a card if you want to set you have to set yourself if you want to activate you have to activate yourself it's all it's all manual and it's really it takes a little bit of time but once you've done it a few times you'll get used to it life points again they're going to be centered here you can minus for yourself and you can communicate with your opponent in the chat box right there good luck have fun you know right there in the in the chat uh same thing uh with uh, your your extra deck. Another thing I want to talk about about the extra deck, which is interesting as well, a lot of people may not know. Go format. Go format's extra deck is unlimited, so I can't do it in solo mode. But if you go to extra deck, there's going to be a little plus icon. If you hit that, you can type in whatever extra deck monster that you want, whatever fusion monster that you want that for that situation. So as long as you have at least one fusion monster in your extra deck, you have access to three copies of all extra deck monsters in Go format. So that's pretty neat as well. A lot of people may not know that. So that's dope. All right. So now you have your deck. You kind of feel comfortable with the buttons and everything of how to use that you can play go format rated but if you want to play in these goatformat.com events there's another step that you have to do so first i'm going to go back i'm going to go back to the deck editor i'm going to go to this button right here that says export deck i'm going to slide it over a little bit so you guys can see that without a uh, you know it's it's right here let me it's called export export deck all right you hit export deck it's going to a button it's going to come up says download link right here on the browser area there's a little link that's going to come up with the deck id and all that you just kind of copy that entire thing right click copy 
or you can right click cut. What do you want to do? All right, hang on to that. Do not delete that. Keep that, save that. Because the next step that you want to do if you want to play Go Format online is you have to have Discord, okay? And for some reason, uh, duelists that are a little older like myself or a little who aren't familiar with the online scene are very averse to Discord for whatever reason. Maybe they had some bad experience with Discord in the past. But if you want to play in these events, you have to have Discord. You have to be a member of the GoFormat.com Discord. I'll put the link to that in the description of this video. First, you just download Discord, just like you're downloading any other app, any other social media app. You get it to your phone, but it's better if you can get it to your computer because if you're playing this game, you're probably gonna be playing from your computer. So it's better to have your Discord set up to your computer. If you're new to Discord, maybe just have your Discord and your dueling book being the same thing since that's primarily what you're gonna be using it for. That's all I use Discord for. It's gonna be GOAT format stuff anyway. So maybe if you're like me, just have your Discord and your, and your dueling book kind of just being the same thing. It just makes everything easier. And then once you get in there, there you're in goformat.com discord and that kind of looks a little something like this maybe i can pull that up right here so that looks like uh it looks like this so this is basically what discord looks like um it'll just be a, a room so this is uh we're going to go the goat general just people people talking about different things different strategies talking about whatever you have on the left you have all these different decks and ideas people can come in you can talk about that kind of stuff if you're into that stuff but if you're strictly here for the tournaments and the tournaments only all you need to do is go to the section that says tournaments when the tournament pops up that you want to enter uh it's just gonna it's gonna be available right here you just go into that room and then you just hit uh join or t underscore join t underscore join and there's going to be a little tab that says t join db dueling book link All right you click that and then remember that copy that you did you just paste you just paste it right there and then you're going to hit enter right now there's no tournament available so i can't i i can't i can't do that there's there's, there's not an actual tournament going on but you just put you put that link in there and then you enter that tournament and then you're set to go the bot will tell you who you're playing next everything that's going on you have to report your laws you have to share videos a lot of this might seem daunting but if you do it once or maybe even twice you will be an expert it is not that hard to do and it's always if you have any questions about any of this at any time there will always be someone there judge or staff me anybody who can help navigate you through this entire process okay so you get in and you're playing your pair the bracket will come down you'll see you host either you host I can show you how to host as well. Let's go back to dueling book. Okay, so let's go here. All right, so we'll go back to the dueling room. Same thing like I did in solo mode, remember? We'll just go here. We'll go to go format unrated. Again, I like to keep everything classics. Make sure you keep the watchers on. Make sure people are allowed to watch because that is a goformat.com rule. Watchers must be on. Here in the dual note, you can tag your person like you're playing against Slappy. Okay, you're playing Slappy one. Okay, Slappy one is your round one opponent. Make sure you're hosting two out of three because all GOAT format matches are two out of three. Watchers are on, you're in classic mode, and then you can hit host. All right, right there, that's gonna be your name. You're playing against Slappy One, and they're gonna come in. They're gonna jump into your box. You click accept when they jump in, and then you guys will be matched up to play in that tournament round. It's that easy. Whoever wins, the winner is going to move on. Uh, the, the the winner is going to move on and in the bracket and the loser is going to send the video or the loser is going to report the loss and send that replay in all right to send in replays it's very simple once the duel is over you just click replay same thing copy that entire thing and post it into the channel it is super duper easy if i can do it literally anyone can do it i, I just wanted to make it like wave tops there's so much there's so much other stuff you can do and so much things we can talk about, but I don't want this video to be incredibly long. I just wanted to have something that was brief and you can just check it out and, 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 and try to play. So in a nutshell, that's basically in a nutshell, how you sign up and how you play goformat.com events. So from now on, if someone asks, please refer them to this video. And this is GOAT format specific, but it will work for any retro format Yu-Gi-Oh! that is Discord based. So if anyone's trying to play any retro format Yu-Gi-Oh! or any GOAT format Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything at all, just 
have them do the same exact thing but just go into that specific discord there are several other discords that are associated with playing retro format Yu-Gi-Oh! get to whatever discord you want and that is how it's going to work so if you have any questions at all about anything or anything you want to add or anything that i left out if you see something i left out make sure you get into the comment section down below and put that in there so we can ensure that this it becomes the guide to how the guide to end all guides to how to play goat format online also i'll put in the tags as well or the at the end of this video i'll put the previous video of all the different ways to play on go from online and now we have this one of how exactly you sign up and play and use dueling book and all that stuff and with that i hope to see you all in the next tournaments that we have i'm jdz i play goats until the next time shout out to the real ones salute to the ogs peace